Hello, hello. Good evening, good evening, guys. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. Welcome. Uh, I see some of you I know. I know some of you. Great. Uh, let's see. Uh, in this moment, we are 11 people. All right. Uh, welcome, Iris Rosario Benitez. Good evening. Hello. Great to see you. Good evening. Good evening, good evening. You are new, right, in this group. You are new. It's nueva en el grupo. Yeah. Yes. Okay, but perfect, perfect. That's cool. Okay, let's see who else. Uh, Wendy, they coming. Good evening. Um, Byron, hello, hello. I, I know some of you. You were with me in the previous model. Great to see you again. I me hear you. Good evening, guys. Let's see who else. Uh, Gabriela Sanchez. Hello. I remember you. Reina Vasquez too. Jenny, she's there too. Reina Vasquez. Ana Maria. Hello. Good evening. Ivania hello, too. Teacher. Good evening. Jessica. Hello. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Good great. That's great. Uh, let's see. Brandon. Hello, Brandon. Great to have Hello. you. Hello, good evening. Welcome. Jennifer Salinas, Jose Mario Rivas. Okay, welcome. Uh, Milagro. Hello, Milagro. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening. And Christian Vladimir. Okay, great, guys. It's uh, my pleasure to be with you in this uh, new course that is Intermediate 3. Okay. Intermediate 3 has new things, new knowledge, and new topics, new things about English that we are going to be practicing every night. All right. Uh, let's see. It's already one, 8 o'clock and one minute. 8 and 1. Okay, we are on time. Great. And other people are going to connect soon. Uh, Marbelli Jocelyn. Hello. Good evening. Uh, let's see who else. Welcome, welcome. Oh, let's see who else is in class. Um, Carlos Dimas too, okay. He is connected. All right. Okay, guys, uh, let's begin the class. Uh, welcome. My name is uh, Luis Cotto. I'm going to be your teacher in this new course. Um, my pleasure to be with you again. And for the new ones, uh, Carlos, good evening. And Karen Lopez, great to see you. Good evening, guys. And for the ones uh, that have not been with me, uh, we are going to have some contact in, in some minutes. Okay, great. Great to see you guys. Uh, how was the storm? Didn't, have, didn't you have any problems with the storm with uh, Julia? Uh -huh. No problems with Julia in your house? No? I hope no. No problem, teacher. Okay, no that's, problem. No, teacher. that's good. Okay, that's good. Okay, but Julia is gone. Yes, I for Julia. Julia is gone. Thanks, God. Okay, perfect. Okay, let me share the screen. Um, as always, I share the screen with you. And please confirm if you can see my monitor. I'm gonna be sharing it in a moment. Okay, just a moment. Let's see. All right, do you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right, perfect, perfect. Okay, we are gonna begin in this moment. Welcome everyone, uh, my pleasure. It's great to have you in this new course. Intermediate three, you are advancing. And I like that. All right. That's my monitor. Uh, let's open the class. Um, this is my presentation. I'm going to explain a little bit about how you can get access to um, the presentations. Voy a explicar después cómo va a tener acceso a las presentaciones, ¿verdad? Eh, como siempre lo digo, eh, se las envío para que les sirvan de apoyo por cualquier cosa en las presentaciones, pero vamos a hablar después de eso. Okay, we are going to advance a little bit. Welcome 
Uh, great to have you guys in this new course, pre intermediate. And this is in, in Spanish, but I'm going to change it into English. All right. New beginning, new beginning, new knowledge. Okay. A volunteer for the reading for this small paragraph. Any volunteer? Me, Jamie. Jamie. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Date. Date this new beginning like a new opportunity to learn new thing and wit in now before you will be better. Better. Okay. All right. Perfect. Thank you. Jamie, take this new beginning like a new opportunity to learn new things. And with enough effort, you will be better. Okay. Con cada esfuerzo va a ir mejorando. Okay. So this is new opportunity to learn new things in this new course that is intermediate three. All right, great, great, great. Let's see uh, the indications, okay, for the new ones, para los nuevos, okay, or uh, this is for everyone, para todos siempre. Uh, we have some indications. Uh, the first one, uh, please, your complete name in, in the Zoom platform. Uh, for example, you can add your, your name and last name, and that's it your complete name, so I can identify who the person is. Okay, the camera, camera, what's, what's going on with the camera? Let's see who has the camera activated. Jessica Castro, thank you for activating your camera. Iris <laughs> Rosarios too. Maybelly Jocelyn, okay, perfect. Milagro, there you are, I knew that you have the, your camera. All right, okay, that's just the indication number two. If you have the camera activated, we can interact each other so we can see. Okay, Reina Vasquez, thank you for activating your camera too. Okay, that is the second indication. Number three, uh, please a uh, quiet place for a better concentration. If you are in your room, if you are in the living room, um, that's okay. But uh, please avoid, okay, evitar, avoid, the distractions and uh, what distractions the phone the tv the radio and uh, the facebook twitter okay leave them for later those are distractions and in the class we have only one hour we have to take to take advantage i can approach charla okay uh, connect at 8 p.m this is your schedule or five minutes with five minutes uh, before the time that will be uh, okay more than perfect and be attentive. What's attentive? Question, short question. What's attentive? Who remembers? Uh -huh. No distraction. Okay. Attentive is uh, estar atento. I have no distractions. It's similar. Correct. Be attentive uh, during the class. And the last one is? Participation is always important. Is always important. important. Okay. I'm going to help you to improve in English, but I need. Uh, your help okay so we can have a great class you and me of course and we are gonna get that with participation with your participation that's always important in every class all right uh, no doubts with uh, with indications doubts questions no 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 yes no, no right it's kind of pretty clear we review the indications every every class okay Hey, about this, about the platform, uh, your assistance is uh, the least, la lista de asistencia is uh, when you connect to the classes, every class, at minimum, gotta be 80% uh, of, of your assistance, 80%, and uh, the 60 minutes is the hour, la, la hora completa, uh, your camera, okay, uh, your complete name, and your assistance, and that's uh, according with the program. All right, according with the program, we have four classes, but because we didn't have class yesterday, eh, we are gonna cover that class on this next Friday. Okay, vamos a tener clase este próximo viernes porque no tuvimos class because of the storm, Julia. Okay, por la clase que no tuvimos ayer la vamos a cubrir el viernes. All right, is that clear? Okay, yes, perfect, teacher. perfect, perfect. And that's it. Okay, pretty much of this, no more. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, 
whenever you have doubts, if you have doubts, do this or questions, ask at any time. Hey, teacher, I have a question. I have a doubt. Uh, can you repeat uh, what you said, etc.? You can try to use your vocabulary from English one. How do you say? How do you pronounce? Etc. All right. And remember that a question is always a question. Yeah. Don't uh, take your question to the bed. No se lleva la pregunta a la cama. Mm, I didn't ask the teacher. No la pregunté eso. Okay. You can ask at any time. All right. Let's see. Uh, that's uh, some information about me. You can check it out later. That's not important in this, in this moment. Okay. Uh, in this class, we need to practice four things, important things in English. The first one is? Speaking. I'm going to make you speak. Okay. I'm going to make you speak so you can practice your, your skill, your speaking skill. Es la que más le cuesta a mucho, ¿verdad? Sí o no? Speaking, okay. teacher. No, speaking. <laughs> but if we, if we don't try, si no tratamos, ay, it would be harder. Va a ser más difícil. Okay, but this is the one that we're going to practice. And uh, number two? Oh, listening. Ah, the oh. listening. The listening is important too. And uh, number three? Grammar. 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 I'm going to teach you some grammar so you can uh, apply it in your speaking. Okay, vamos a ver grammar también. Grammar is the base. Okay, pero no es lo es tan, tan importante, ¿verdad? Grammar. Four of them, yes. Las cuatro, sí. And number four is? Practice. Ah, the practice. Okay, the practice. Okay, what is, why is it at last? Porque está lo último. Because after the class, when you have free time on weekends, on one hour while you have lunch, mientras almuerza, you can practice. Okay, that's uh, uh, that's up to you. Está un poco más de, de su parte, ¿verdad? But in this class, I'm going to help you with that. All right. Uh, let's see uh, the tools. Uh, what are these? ¿Qué son estas? Who remembers? And uh, for the ones who were in, in, in the previous course with me, who remembers? For consultant, uh, for session, okay. the meaning. Yeah, correct. Okay, use them. They are pretty useful. So muy útiles. In the presentation of every class, they are there in, in this part. Siempre están allí. So you copy and paste the link and you get the, the, the website. All right. Uh, let's see. Um, this is my name. My name is Luis. My last name is Cotto. Okay. But before we begin with the class, we are going to watch a short video that we need to watch. Just let me copy. Okay. En esta parte de los links, de las tools, lo que va a hacer es esto, a darle sombrear, copiar. O si no, le, le aprieta en su teclado eh, de, de control key. Cuando le aprieta el control key, miren, ¿qué aparece? What do you see? Uh, but that, that is Ajá, a hand, una manita. Y de ahí solo le da clic. Okay. Y lo redirige al, al website. Eso es todo. Okay, mm -hmm. we are going to check the tools. All right. But first, the video, the video. Let's watch the video, please. Um, your attention, we are going to watch it. It's not too long. Don't worry. No es muy largo. All right. Okay. Mm, your attention, please. Hey, what did I do? All right. El INSAFOR ha trabajado con un alto nivel de profesionalismo, pensando siempre en incrementar las posibilidades de crecimiento para la gente de nuestro país. Nos hemos dedicado a que a través de la formación se generen oportunidades para los salvadoreños y así cada vez más, en un mundo más competitivo y globalizado, siempre existan en nuestro país posibilidades de superación para todos. Miles de hombres y mujeres han logrado desarrollarse profesionalmente y han ampliado sus conocimientos y posibilidades laborales a través de los diferentes programas de formación que son parte del Sistema de Formación Profesional, el cual ofrece programas de formación para todos los niveles de recurso humano dentro de una empresa. 
se ha incrementado productividad de muchas industrias y cientos de empresas a través de la capacitación y formación de cientos de miles de salvadoreños con programas como Área Técnica, ofreciendo cursos técnicos para mejorar el desempeño operativo y tecnológico de los trabajadores. Competencias Gerenciales, con temas de capacitación para complementar y actualizar conocimientos para áreas de gerencia. Inglés para el trabajo. Contenidos estandarizados del inglés para hacer a los trabajadores más eficientes y productivos en el desempeño de sus funciones. Mejora de competitividad de las MIPES. Amplios temas de capacitación, específicos para micro y pequeños empresarios. Cursos cerrados y abiertos. Tratando temas de capacitación para trabajadores de las empresas cotizantes de Insaforp. Insaforp Online. Cursos online con el horario y ubicación que más convenga al usuario para la constante capacitación en múltiples temas y profesiones. Trabajando con el compromiso claro de ayudar al desarrollo del país y con un equipo profesional entregado a buscar oportunidades para nuestra gente, es que Insafor ha logrado tener un modelo de gobernanza y gestión ejemplar que tiene como base el diálogo permanente entre el sector empleador, laboral y el gobierno formando a los trabajadores, capacitando a la gente de nuestro país. Es que transformamos la vida de las familias salvadoreñas, porque en Insafor trabajamos todos los días sabiendo que, a través del conocimiento, es que estamos formando un mejor El Salvador. Con el objetivo de formar en igualdad el Instituto Salvadoreño de Formación Profesional INSAFOR, presentó en el año 2017 la Guía para la Prevención y Erradicación de la Discriminación contra las Mujeres en los Centros de Formación Fijos, donde se desarrollan programas permanentes de formación profesional del INSAFOR, cuya elaboración contó con el apoyo de la Organización Internacional del Trabajo, OIT, y su objetivo a largo plazo es contribuir a mejorar las condiciones y oportunidades de acceso y permanencia de las mujeres en los procesos de formación profesional sin discriminación de ningún tipo. La guía pretende poner a disposición de INSAFOR y de sus centros colaboradores un instrumento que les permita identificar, conocer, prevenir, atender y erradicar progresivamente Cualquier discriminación por razones de género contra la mujer. Posteriormente, el Instafor desarrolló un plan piloto de implementación de la guía en tres centros de formación fijos. Y es así como surgen cuatro instrumentos fundamentales para la aplicabilidad de la guía, siendo estos manual de convivencia, protocolo de atención en casos de bullying y acoso sexual, lineamientos para la comunicación de los programas de formación con lenguaje inclusivo no sexista, y la guía metodológica para la prevención y erradicación de la discriminación contra las mujeres. Dichos documentos fueron elaborados con el enfoque de derechos humanos y de género, estableciendo medidas que garanticen relaciones de respeto, igualdad y equidad entre todas las personas que forman parte y conviven en los centros de formación profesional. De esta forma el INSAFOR asume la igualdad de género como un principio transversal de trabajo, entregando a los centros de formación estas cuatro herramientas que complementan la guía para la prevención y erradicación de la discriminación contra las mujeres, a fin de que sean puestas en práctica en beneficio de las usuarias de la formación profesional. Insafor, formando en igualdad. Ok, that was the video and uh, we are going to begin with the class in this moment. All right. Let's see, uh, Dini, you sleep? No se dormió, no? Let me see if you are there, if you continue there. Hello, hello. No, hello, teacher. Uh, okay, hello. perfect, there you are. All right, perfect. Uh, but before that, let's make a small introduction. My name is Luis. My last name is Coto. I live in San Salvador. I don't have children yet. And I'm a married. And I am 34 years old. That's my basic information. Okay, I have, uh, someone new in the class. Jessica, could you introduce, please, with, uh, with the class? Jessica Castro, basic information, name, last name, where you live, uh, children, no children, or if you are married or not, and that's it. Then your age. Okay, teacher. 
I am Jessica Castro. I live in Santa Tecla. I am 39 years old. I'm married and I have two boys. Two boys. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Gabriela Sanchez, are you in, new in the course? Hello, teacher. Hello. Are you My new in, in this course? No? Yes. No. No, right? Ah, I knew, I knew. You said it. Okay, I knew. <laughs> Ceci Hernandez, welcome. Okay, Ceci, could you introduce with the class? Only the new ones, okay? And a couple of the previous uh, students that I had in the previous class. Ceci, hello. Ceci, Ceci. Wendy del Carmen, hello. Good evening. Are you? Are you there? Hello, good evening. Good evening, Wendy. Wendy, can you introduce with the class, with your classmates, so they can know a little bit about you? Uh, my name, name okay. is mm -hmm. Wendy del Carmen Gonzalez. Uh, I live in La Paz. Oh. I am 24 years old. I am single. All right, perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Brandon, I know you, Brandon, but please introduce with the class so they can hear you. Brandon Vladimir. Hello, teacher. Hello. Can you introduce with your new classmates? Oh, okay. Uh, my name is Brandon. My last name is Cruz. Um, I live in Soyapango. Um, it's only... Okay, uh, children, no children, married. Oh, I I don't have children. I'm single. Uh, All right. Okay, that's is... good. Okay, that's it. That's okay. it. Okay, eso es todo. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Vilma Aide. Hello. Good evening. Vilma. Hello. Hello. Hey, Vilma left. Okay. It is. Can you introduce with the class, please? Hi, my name is Iris Rosario. My last name is Benitez Hernandez. I live in Soyapango. I I married and uh, no, yes, I married and two children. All right. Okay. Um, good. Good. Okay. Remember, I am bird to be. I am. Or, yeah. or the contraction, I'm, I'm married. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay. And the, the last one is, uh, I have, or I don't. I don't have. Don't forget the verb, el verbo, have. All right, but that's cool. Okay, that's cool. Good. All right, let's see what we have in this new course. Okay, the first topic is adverbs before adjectives all right adverse before adjectives that is the first topic of intermediate and model three we are going to study about this and what is this okay what do you see in in the screen adjective adjective let's repeat adjective. let's repeat adjective. adjective adjective okay what is what is an adjective an adjective describes, describes nouns. nouns. Describes nouns. nouns. Okay. Do you know some adjectives? Do you know any? Or do you remember any adjectives that you have used in previous classes? Or adjectives, people describing people, appearance, remember? Beauty. Uh, pretty, pretty. Uh, pretty woman, like the movie. Okay. <laughs> yes. Pretty woman. That's a nice movie. Uh -huh. Have some. Handsome, Abra, like Brad Pitt, right? Okay, in Troya. Okay, some girls like his, that actor. Okay, Brad Pitt. Okay, handsome means for boys or for men, correct? Pretty, handsome, what else? What else? Tall. Uh, tall, okay, about talking about height, all right. Okay, tall. Short. Short, mm -hmm. the opposite. Uh, which one? Which one? Big. Big. Okay, big. What? Okay, Big Mac, like the Big Mac, right? The Big Mac mm -hmm. is not too big. Okay, only the name. 
Uh, what else? ¿Qué más? What else? Expensive. expensive. Okay, expensive. Yes, expensive. Okay, good. Those are adjectives. All right. Ah, this one, we have the adjective expensive. Okay, at the other side, we have? Adverb. Adverb. Okay, adverb, adverb is, is similar, but adverbs, they... Describe, describe verb, verb, adjectives, verb, adjectives, another verb, or another adverb. Another adverb. Okay, they describe adjectives and other adverbs, or even, even verbs, clues of verbs. Okay, and those are adverbs. We are going to see. So we have this adverb that is? Very. 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 Okay, that's an adverb. Uh, teacher, but I know that some adverbs, they have double L and Y. Okay, for example, uh, this. Okay. Okay, let's see. I use Google. This is not Google, this is Word, but I use Google too. And I use this document to show you some information during the class. Okay, the adjective is? Glad. 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 Okay, that is like happy. It's like happy. How can you make uh, this adjective an adverb? You make it, lo hace, adding, agregando L and Y. And that is? Glad. Glad. What is glad? glad? What is glad? What is glad? Meaning? The meaning? Nobody? No. Uh, what, is, what is glad? What is the meaning of glad? Happy, but in Spanish is? Uh, feliz, alegre. Okay, alegre. Okay, glad. Okay, glad. And gladly is? Alegría. Alegre. Alegremente. Okay, alegremente. Okay. One example. Uh, Mary. Mary. Yes. Say hello. Or said in the past. Say hello to Charlie Gladly. Okay, this is a name, Charlie Gladly. Okay. Yeah. Maria le dijo hola a Charlie alegremente. Okay, this is the adverb. But we have different adverbs, and this is one. Hay algunos que no tienen ly. Okay, for example, this one. Very, but very is an adverb. All right. And making it in a sentence is... San Francisco. San Francisco is a very expensive city. All right, it, it is. It is a very, very. What is the meaning of very in this in this part? Very, okay. Very is giving an, an emphasis to the adjective, very. And that means, it significa? Muy. Muy. Muy, mucho. That, that's it. Because very is an adverb. And expensive is? It's an adjective. adjective. Okay, that's why that's why the topic is adverbs. Okay, we have the adverb, and the adverb is before, before, before the, adjective. the adjective. All right. Okay, let's see some examples. And the next one, the next adverb is quiet. Okay, quiet. Quiet like quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. For a moment. Quiet. Or quiet yeah. is different. Is it different quiet like this? Quiet is an adverb too. What is the meaning? Who knows the meaning? Quien sabe el, el meaning? Significado de quiet. In this case. Callate. Uh, no, that's the adjective. That's the adjective. That's the adjective. When you say that, that is the adjective. Cuando dice eso es el adjetivo. But quiet... Uh, quiet, quiet. Let's see. Uh, let's use the tools. Okay, I have the tool. What you can do is the next. And yes, the ones who were with me, you know. Lo que ya estuvieron conmigo, ya saben, ¿verdad? Ay, I have a doubt. I have a question about the word. Okay, mm -hmm. it says? Other. Other. And what is the meaning, the definition? Quiet. 
can be used in the following, in the following ways. ways. As an adverb, como un adverb. Before an adjective, ah, there is, ahí está. ¿ve? Before an adjective. Uh -huh. All right, that is a topic that we are studying. Adverbs before adjectives, uh -huh. that is a topic, all right. And it says, or adverb, I was quiet. Yo estaba muy, ah, teacher, but muy significa very, right? In the previous one. Correct, in the previous, yes. Very expensive, muy caro. Correct. But in this one, quiet. Muy enojado. Uh -huh. It says, I was quiet, and the adjective is? Oh, angry. 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 With? Angry. With hair. With the hair. Ok. Entonces no sería, yo estaba tranquilo, enojado. Because, mm. o oh, callado. I was, estaba callado, enojado. No sense, mm. right? It doesn't have sense. So, quiet in this one muy. means muy. Correct. Ajá. Mm. Ahí está. Mm. Eso significa quiet in this topic. All right? Don't forget in this topic. Mm. Ok. Yes. That's it. So, uh, uh, we can have adverbs with L-Y. Podemos tener adverbs ending with L-Y. And adverbs that don't end with L-Y. Y unos que no terminen en L-Y. For example, very yeah. quiet. That's yeah. the other one. And we have more. Hay más todavía. All right. Let's see. And the adjective. What is the adjective? Complex. 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 Okay, complex. Okay. Do you recognize the picture? What is in the picture? What's that? Chimico. What's that? Uh, chimico. Chimico in English? Who knows? Uh -huh. Experiment. Experiment. Um, okay. It, sh it must be. Debe ser. Okay. But look at the look at the the board. Uh -huh. There are formulas. It's a synthetic, organic, etc. And what is that? What's that? What's that? Laboratorio. Uh, okay, that's a lab. Okay, chemistry or chemistry is a subject. Okay, can you can you say the sentence in like in the previous form. like in this one? Uh huh. Form form the sentence. Forming that sentence, uh -huh. with quiet and complex. Oh, um, uh -huh. Okay, what is the subject in the school? What is the subject? What was the subject in the school? Uh, but the subject, the subject. Uh -huh. La materia, in the university. Ah, okay, chemistry. Chemistry, chemical. All right, uh, in English, in English. Okay, we need to chemical. practice English more than Spanish, okay? Chemistry. Uh -huh. chemistry, chemistry, chemistry. All right, Chem chemistry. And chemistry what is, is next? Is correct. Is chemistry is quiet. Correct. Quiet. 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 Complex. 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 Ah, okay. What is the meaning of that? Meaning? Química es muy complicada. Uh -huh. Is complejo. but quiet. Quiet. Mention quiet in the sentence. Hay que um, mencionar quiet. Uh -huh. Ah, la química es química muy 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 complicada o bastante complicado. muy complicada. Ah, yes, complex. complex. Okay, complex. It's complex. Repeat it. Complex. 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 Okay, good. Complex. complex. So, see, the it is easy to form sentences uh, with the uh, adverbs before the adjectives. All right. Let's okay. try out another one. Let's try out another one. Chemistry is? Why complex. complex. Like um, math, like mathematics. Complex. Correct, yes. Okay, let's see uh, the third example. The adverb is? Extremely. 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 Mm, no. Okay, we need to, we need to mm. sharpen and we need to, we need to improve our English. It's not extremely. Ah, teacher, but how, how can I know how to pronounce it? Ah, okay, what am I using? ¿Qué estoy usando para saber cómo debo pronunciar? The tools, right? The tools, correct. That's why I use them, por eso las uso. Okay, I have another one that this is a Cambridge Dictionary too. It's 
pretty good. It's pretty good too. Okay, in this case, I am using the same thing. Ah, Cambridge or this dictionary. Oops, okay, I have in capital, I don't need capital letter. This dictionary uh -huh, is, uh -huh, remember what I said, ¿Qué dije? about the dictionary. Very good. Very good. It's pretty, pretty, pretty good. Ah, teacher, el diccionario bonito dice ahí. No, 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 pretty. What is pretty? Pretty is that. Okay, she's a pretty girl. Um, I don't know, it's God, lady, it's a pretty woman, etc. But pretty, let's see if pretty is an adverb. Okay, let's check it out. Pretty. Uh, oh, see, let's see. Pretty. It says... Adverb. adverb mainly spoken, principalmente in English speaking, but it says adverb. It is an adjective too. También es adjective in adverb. Uh, for example, let's see, uh, fairly, bastante, muy, también, fairly. Okay. My TVs, can you read the example? Any, any of you remember participation? Oh no. My, my TV is getting pretty old now. Okay. My TV is getting pretty old now. What is the meaning of that? Meaning? What's the meaning? My TV is getting pretty old. Se está desfasando in other in other words. Ajá, se está poniendo, poniendo vieja o viejo no. Okay, se está quedando, right? It sounds better. Se está, okay, está quedando de fasada. We can say, podemos decir. All right, see? So, pretty is an adverb too. In the example, the dictionary. It's pretty good. It's pretty good? Too. Too. Okay, I'm talking about Cambridge. All right, it's pretty good too. All right, let's come back with, uh -huh. with this is um, speaking for you. This is is speaking for you porque es speaking because it is showing uh, the phonetic que es the phonetic the way that we pronounce como se pronuncia so uh, can you try extremely extremely uh, can you try to pronounce that extremely uh, no, no es ex like no es extremely es Extreme. Extreme, extremely 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 okay this is the pronunciation that's why i'll tell you use the tools because they are good for you to use por eso les recuerdo hay que usar las tools para mejorar sí okay ah now you know ahora ya sabe que no es extremely extremely no that's only in grammar no, that's only in grammar. A, hey, can you can you uh, can you say the letters? Can you spell it out? Puede letrarla. Uh -huh. Can you spell it out? The A B C. Ah, oh, English e one, English one. Uh -huh. Let's remember. E X T e R E M E L Y. Y correct. Y. Okay, E E E E right. E. Okay, E. That's E. Okay, good. All right, and why? Extremely, repeat extremely. 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 All right, okay. Good, 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 good. And the other, uh, the, the adjective is? Tall. Tall. Okay, let's see. Do you recognize this building? Do you know this building? No. 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 No, I don't know. No, right? Doesn't look familiar to you. Okay. Where is it? Donde está? Don't you know? Uh -huh. Okay. That is the Burk, Burk Khalifa is a building that is in, in, in the Arabic. Dubai. In Dubai, correct. In Dubai. That's it. Dubai. Okay. With the Hekas. All right. Make the sentence, please, uh, with the author before the adjective. Can you make the sentence? True. Um, but subject, okay. Something that we practice in every class is uh, when you speak, 
cuando hablamos en English, ok, we need to use the subject, a verb, and, and a complement. For example, what is the what is the subject in this in this sentence? Dictionary. This, this dictionary. dictionary is the subject, all right. Ready. What is the verb? What is the verb? Is is, is the verb to be correct? Is. And the complement. Very good. Too. All right. The same. The same. The same. Lo mismo. Acá. Uh -huh. Subject verb complement. All right. I'm gonna copy the sentence. Okay. The um, the uh, I don't remember the name of the building. Ah, uh, the Burk. The I guess it is like the Burk Khalifa. Uh -huh. The Burk Khalifa. Uh -huh. is, is, is correct. Is, is, is extremely, extremely X, tall. X or X. It, 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 okay, let's check, let's check. Ah, it is not X, I don't see X there. No, 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 Extremely Extremely tall. no, right. and it's true. That building is extremely tall. no, right. so, yes, extremadamente, mente, ¿sí? Ex extremely correct. This is the adverb. Yeah, I got missing the L. Okay, the adverb, the adverb is extremely, and the adjective extremely. is tall. tall. Is tall. All right, and that's it. That's the way that you can use adverbs and adjectives. Okay, before adverb is before the adjective. This is the adverb. See, adverb and the adjective. Okay. Questions in this part? Questions? Hey, teacher, but I don't know adverbs. I don't know adjectives. I don't know many adjectives. How, what can I do? ¿Qué puedo hacer? To study adjectives in adverbs. Okay, let's see. And this is for you to do at home, to check at home, para que revise en casa. And this is a grammar, grammar part. There are some links. Aquí hay links. All right. But in this part, you have two links. The first one is about a link that is gonna show you about adjectives. Let's open quickly. Let's open. Okay. Lists of, of 200, 228. 28. Common, 28. common, common, adjectives. common adjectives. Ah, okay, 228 common. Esos son los comunes, and there are, there are more. I must. <laughs> Teacher, and how can, can I learn that? Practicing, okay, practicando. See, ¿Sí? the adjective is? Common. Hey, 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 hey. Uh -huh. the, the adjective is? Adorable. 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 Okay. Adorable. 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 That is the adjective. It says adjective words. Adorable, adventurous, etc. And see if you go down, si se va para abajo, there are more. Okay, there are different adjectives. There are a lot that you can use to study and to get or increase, para incrementar, increase, increase, increase your vocabulary. Incrementar. Okay, that's enough. Suficiente adjective. Yes, incrementar, aumentar, etc. All right. What do we have in the next one, In on the second one? In the second one, teacher, what do I find? ¿Qué encuentro? Okay, copy and paste the link. And it says lists, list list of, of 100, 100, 100 adverbs. adverbs. 100 adverbs. Okay, for Gosh. example, which ones are adverbs? Boldly, bravely, repeat, repeating, repeating, rightly, cheerfully, okay, cheerfully, definitely, see, many of them, many of them have the L-Y at the end, muchos tienen el L-Y at the end, let's see if we have another one that is not like that, uno que no sea así, hmm, the majority of them, casi todos. But if you see, we have more. We have more adverbs like quiet and very. All right. Questions? 
questions questions at the, at the moment no 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 ninguna no no questions all right good this is for you you can check these two links um, in your free time all right let's see let's continue because we need we need to cover more topics what is this what is this topic the next topic is conjunction con oh there is a mistake i guess conjunctions Conjunctions. Conjunctions. Yeah, I guess I get I get missing the letter N. Okay, conjunction. Let's write it down. If you have doubts, uh, if you have doubts, you can use Google Translate. A, can you use it, teacher? Can I use it? Yes, you can, but not for paragraph. Okay, for the ones that know me, para los que me conocen, ya han estado conmigo, les digo, no paragraph, only simple words. Simple yeah. words. Okay, because paragraph, no, 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 no. Okay, conjunction. Ah, okay, I was right. Estaba en lo correcto. There is a mistake. Okay, letter N is missing. Letter R, letter N is missing. Conjun conjunctions. Okay, have you heard about this? ¿Ha oído the conjunctions in English? No, no idea. never. No idea. No. Okay, no. don't worry. We are gonna we are gonna learn I don't them. Know. We're gonna learn them. Okay, don't worry. Vamos a aprenderla. What? 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 Oh, another one. Okay. Oh, again. Otra vez. What? Okay. What? Let me correct it. Okay. What are conjunctions? What are conjunctions? All right, okay. Conjunctions are words, okay? They are words that link. What is link? Who remembers the meaning? The meaning of link? Union, near, uh, uh -huh. in Spanish, connectar. Aha, unir, etc. Okay. That link other words, phrases, repeat phrases. Phrases. Uh -huh. Repeat phrases. 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 Repeat it. Repeat it. Phrases. Phrases. Clauses. Clauses. Together. Okay. A clause is a sentence. Okay. A sentence. Como una sentence. Okay. So imagine this is the idea, the idea one. I have the idea one in this piece of puzzle. Este de rompecabezas. This is the idea one. And this is the, the idea two. And what uh, what do conjunctions do? Cancel as conjunctions. They connect them. They connect. Yes. Connection. Okay, imagine you have an idea and you need to connect a second idea. And like this, así. All right. Okay, mm -hmm. let's let's pay attention. Some conjunctions are, algunas son. Okay, the first one. Such, 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 as, such as, such as. Repeat it, repeat it together. Such as, such as, such as, such as. Such as. Such as. Okay, sounds such weird, right? Suena raro, right? Sounds weird. Okay, but it's like that. Next. No. But, 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 ah, but. this is a common one. This is a common. But, okay, but, yes. but, but, uh -huh. but, but. This do. one is? So, do, 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 like this. Do, do, do. do. like do. that. But this is not phonetic. Yeah. This is informal. This is informal. This is just to give you the idea of the pronunciation. Do, repeat do. No, no, no. No. Okay. Next one is. How, 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 how. Okay. Do you remember the WH question? How, how are you? How are you today? How. Okay. And the next, the next word is. Ever. 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 Uh, do you ever? Do you ever? Do you ever, ever watch TV at one a.m. Guys, do you ever? 
Sometimes. Sometimes. Too late. Too late for 1 a.m. You should be sleeping, not watching TV or series or movies. Okay. Now let's let's make it together. However. However. Okay. They come however. 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 But this is the complete word. However. 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 All right. Uh, what is the next one? So. 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 Is so or so? So. 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 Uh -huh. Let's use a tool to be sure, para estar seguro. So. Oh, okay. I don't see a letter O. No veo letter O ahí. What does it mean? So. It says so. 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 Okay. So. Many, many people, many people say so. But it's not so. It's so. 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 Mm -hmm. So. So. Correct. So. All right. Okay. Those. Those are conjunctions. These words. These words are conjunctions. Okay. Uh, la, la, la. It is. It is Rosario. Okay. Your last name or name is Rosarios. It is Rosarios like that. Is that correct? No, teacher. It's ah. Rosario, no Rosarios. Ah, okay, okay. I know, no problem. I just had the doubt. Solo tenía la duda. Okay. It is. Can you help me with the reading in this part about the conjunction such as? Um, I read? Yes, please. Okay. To introduce an example or examples of some time we uh, mention i don't know mention mention, mention repeat mention all right mention, good mention. no problem to introduce an example okay to introduce we use such as usamos such as to introduce an example or in plural examples of something we mention okay we are going to check some examples after this and next, uh, let's see, Marbelli Jocelyn. Can you help me with the second one about bot? Okay, teacher. Thanks. But. Bot is used to connect it. Idea that contrast. Okay, thank you. Is used to connect. Let's repeat, connect, connect. Connect. Connect ideas that come to us. Okay, for example, I like ice cream, but I prefer, um, but I prefer a drink, for example. Okay, you are contrasting that you like ice cream, but you prefer drinks instead of ice cream. That is a contrast. Okay. Uh, the next one is though. Let me see. Jessica, please tell me about the word though. About the use. Okay, though. Mm -hmm. Though is used to complete a sentence with another. Oh, to complete a sentence with another. Okay. Um, for example, you have you have a part of a sentence, but if you don't if you don't use though, you can complete it. Si no se usa though en otra sentence, it's not complete. And that is what it's saying. Eso está diciendo acá. Okay, to complete is used to complete a sentence with another or connect. Remember, only connect. All right, let's see. Uh, da, da, da. Jeng me, hello. Jeng me, Jeng me, Jeng me. Hello. This word, please help me with the meaning of however, however or the explanation. Any way at all, or is the same matter how? Okay, any way at all, or it doesn't matter how, no importa como, however. Okay, however, we are going to see examples about this. And the final, the final one is... So, 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 what is so? 
Okay, good. All right. For example, I didn't study. I didn't study. What I what an example, teacher. I didn't study. I didn't study. Uh -huh. So so I reproved <laughs> the test. Okay. What is the cause? What is the cause? What is the cause? Eating a stool. I didn't. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I didn't. That is the cause. And, and for every cause, there is a result. Para cada causa hay un. Uh -huh. Resultado. 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 Correct. Resultado. And what is the result? The result of this action. To reprove the test. Uh -huh. reprove. I, I didn't to reprove study. the test. Yeah, I because I didn't study. So this is the, so, the word that you can use to link, okay, to connect two ideas. All right, two ideas. And it's between the cause and the reason or result. All right, let's see, five minutes, five minutes, five minutes for class. Okay, uh, we are going to see some examples tomorrow. We, I don't think what, that we can finish today because I wanna show you something. Le quiero mostrar algo así que no vamos a quedar acá with the explanations. Okay. Eh, esta presentación se la voy a enviar al grupo de WhatsApp. Solo esta. ¿Ok? ¿Por qué, teacher? ¿Y las demás? No, las demás no, fíjese. ¿Por qué? Ok, a bien, al final, eh, si usted revisa la clase, al final está eso. Están los links de práctica. Los links de práctica. Eso lo puedo hacer cuando tenga tiempo libre, eh, en un ratito que pueda. Y al final, acá, yo les agrego los links aunque mmm, me confirma si se los hicieron llegar a su correo, los links de acceso a la plataforma, a la, a la playlist de YouTube, donde van a estar subidos los videos, se los mandaron, ¿sí? ¿Al correo? Yeah. Yes, sí, sí. Ok, yes, you received them. Ok, perfect. And I added here. Yo los agrego aquí también. The most, the most important ones are these ones. Los más importantes son estos, eh, el de la plataforma, that you can do the, the exercises, the assignments. Esa es otra cosa. Eh, ya saben cómo funcionan los assignments, ¿verdad? Entra a la plataforma, pone su correo, su contraseña y empieza a desarrollar lo que esté ahí de cada unidad. And this week, esta semana, se debe completar la section one en la section two, ¿ok? De, de esta semana, esas dos secciones. Y lo digo en español para que quede clarito. All right. Eh, y ese link de Google Drive, Teacher, ¿qué? Ok. Si le da clic, ok, control y el clic. Ajá, ahí está redirigiendo a esta carpeta de Google Drive. Acá van a estar las presentaciones. Ok, acá las subo yo. Solo para pedirles un favor que cuando eh, estén en esta parte y vean eh, las presentaciones, no le den borrar, no le den mover, no le den modificar. Solo descarguen para que los demás que eh, no lo hayan hecho tengan acceso a descargar el material de apoyo que, que subo de cada clase. Así que lo que vemos cada clase eh, en el horario, eh, puede descargar usted la presentación y that's it. Solo de tener cuidado en esta parte. ¿Clear? ¿Is that clear? Yes, sí, sí. Yes. Ok, ok. Yes, sí, sí. Ok, perfect. Any other question that you might have uh, for today? If not tomorrow, si no tiene preguntas hoy, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Teacher, I'm sorry, one, mm -hmm. I, one question. Yes. I, eh, co, co, ¿Cómo voy a llegar a, a, a este drive? Ah, okay. Es lo que no entendí. Eh, le voy a mandar esta presentación, ok, al, al ah, okay. chat de, de WhatsApp y usted descarga la presentación y al final está. Ah, ok. Y ahí solo copia, okay, pega, you. ok, le da clic. Excellent. And that's it. It's pretty easy. All right. And no more questions? No more? No more teacher. Okay. 
All right, guys. Uh, thank you very much for attending your first class of the Intermediate 3. Intermediate 3, we are going to see each other tomorrow at 8 o'clock or before. Thank you. My pleasure to be with you in this new course and have a great night. Thank you very much. See you. Tomorrow. Thank you. 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 See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Have a happy night. Thank tomorrow. you. Bye. See you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night.